Okay, here in Cricut Sign Space, I am going to make a template for my America block as well as Land of the Free. I will tell you the fonts that I'm using. Uh, I did purchase these fonts, uh, so I'll let you know that up front. If you, I will leave the links where you can purchase them or you can find an equivalent uh, from uh, some kind of free font. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to insert a shape. And I'm going to insert the square and the size that I need is 14 and a half inches uh, wide or long by four inches high so I'm gonna adjust that by going to my edit button and I'm going to undo the, the lock so that it lets me um, do the portions the way that I want them So now I have a 14 and a half inch um, long square with four inches wide. Okay, so um, I'm just going to turn it blue just for the sake of the project. All right, so I like to use this as a template so that I can get my letters the way that I want them to be. So first I'm going to go to add text and I'm going to type in all caps America and by de default my uh, font that comes up is Cricut Alphabet. If you like this one it's included with it you can uh, you have your hard work already done for you um, but I'm going to use one of the fonts that I had purchased which is part of the DJ fonts. Um, I purchased it purchased these off of Amazon I, I got it was seven fonts on a, on a Cricut cartridge but you can purchase them right here off of the um, website if you would like in Cricut design space DJ doodlers um, D fiddlesticks DJ Ruby DJ Smitten, DJ Smooth, and DJ Terrific. Uh, I like these fonts. These are the ones that I use quite a bit. So it was worth it for me to purchase the cartridge. And I'll leave a link to Amazon in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to click Fantastic Fonts DJ Smitten. And now it has turned my America to the um, size that I want. I'm going to need to take off this padlock here so that I can adjust the letters with the size that I want them to be. Just like that. And like I said, you don't need to purchase these fonts. I did. You can just use one that um, looks very similar. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to go back over here. I just like to kind of have the whole effect. So I'm just turning those colors, uh, the America colors, um, red. Okay. So now I want to insert another text box, and I'm going to do land. Oops. I want to do lower caps. Um, land, land of the free, um, lowercase. And then if I highlight it, um, I don't know. That's just something that I do. Go back over to edit, and then. I am looking for another font that I purchased. It was on Mighty Deals and I got it for, um, I forget how much I paid for it, but I went right before this video, I looked and it is $7. So if you um, like this font and would like to get this particular one, that is where I got mine. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to go back over to layers and I'm going to turn the font color white so then I'm going to take off the padlock so that I can maneuver it the way that I want it I'm going to click these three little dots right here because then that gets rid of that right uh, toolbar so that I can do this the way that I want okay even though this is land of the free it all kind of you know it's very choppy it's just blah, blah, blah. there's not a lot of space so what I want to do is I want to weld these together and how I do that if you click it 
and then click it so you get all of the dots around it then right click and click ungroup it gives the letters um, they're free where you can move them so <clears throat> I'm gonna move this a just to overlap that L this N to overlap the A and you see so on and so forth you can kind of see that it is coming together now land is um, becomes one word and it looks like it is script all together okay um, to weld them I just click one of the letters like I'm clicking L hold my shift key down then click all the other letters like this go back over here to my right hand toolbar and click weld it will tell me when the weld is complete and so then now this land has become a whole word for me so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for these letters uh, or this um, these words right here Okay, so now land of the free, I have each individual word welded together. And so if I, um, now I want to attach all of them together so that they will all cut out together. So I am just clicking land and then of and then, and then the and then free. And so then if I take my, my cursor, I can move them around. So um, this would be the time if you would want them to be a little bit bigger. Um, you know if you want it to be bigger or smaller this is a great time instead of just doing individual words okay go like that all right this is blue I got red and I also have white so if I um, let me move this whoops let me group all this together because when I clicked on the, it was an individual word. So how I, how, how I am, I'm going to click land of the free and group it all together. I, did, I forgot to do that a while ago. So I want to click land, hold my shift key down of the free, and then I want to right click and click group. So that way it knows that I want them to move all together as a group. I need to do the same thing. Um, let's see with the America let's see what I have if I hit go okay they're all grouped together so um, because of the size that I'm cutting out the America it's giving me my 12 by 24 mat which is totally fine because um, I can do a strip of red and then I can do a strip of white but I want them to all cut out on the same mat and so how I need to do that is to I want to let me I'm gonna get rid of this blue box because I don't need that anymore because it was just a template so <clears throat> I'm just going to click um, America and I want to turn that white um, so that it will know that I want to cut everything out on one mat. So now let me see if I click go, what happens? Okay, so it didn't attach at all. I forgot to attach it. So this is um, a lesson also. So I want to click America and then I want to click, hold my shift key down, click land of the free, click attach. So now let me see what happens. Okay, so um, America and then land of the free, but I want to give some space in between here and let me show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so let me um, detach this. Okay, so then let me see, I'm going to move America down and I'm going to move land of the free up. 
America down. You see, I'm just going to move it down. So I give some space in between here. Hold the shift key down, click attach, click go. Because I want to put one on one side and one on the other. Um, I want, I don't want to waste so much of the white, so I want to see if I can get it to go down a little bit more. Click detach. So let me see if I can move this America down. Okay, click land of the free. Click America. Click attach because it's telling me it wants to cut out on the same mat because I have the same colors. And did you see Land of the Three moved up? I think that that is a great space, a spacing. I don't want to get too far here so that um, I don't have enough vinyl and I don't want to get, um, so, so how I figure out so I don't waste so much vinyl, this needs one, two, three, like three and a half. So I probably would cut a four inch square a rectangle of red vinyl enough to you know cut this out because nothing irritates me more than running out of paper or vinyl this one right here is one inch two inch three inch i would probably you know because this f these f's are coming down so i probably would do four inch white here and then um four inch red there and then click go and uh you, i can use one mat red here and white here and cut all my letters out.